I can't do anything from over here. If you could get me out over there, then maybe we could talk or something. But, you know, in order to do that, you got to say my name three times. Beetlejuice. 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 It's showtime. Hey, buddy, watch this. Hey folks, it's time for some Enrage Control Warrior. This deck list comes to us from Fibonacci, widely considered one of the best warrior players in the universe, and he played this deck to the number two legend spot. That's right, top two legend last month. It is a cool list. It's a little bit of a hybrid between the more traditional Enrage Warrior you might be seeing all over the ladder today, but it also brings in some control package pieces and plays more defensively in its late game state whereas a normal enrage warrior might finish off with high pressure units you know ch charging Corcron elites and grom hell scream this deck instead has like brawl and stuff that's intending to keep you alive and play for max control but still runs galacrond very importantly as a finishing piece to help you close out games with that damage from its hero power once you've stabilized and created some counter pressure and i have two really really crazy games in this video both awesome long ones a highlander hunter that just keeps coming at us and our second game's got a particularly cool end game state we find so you should check out both of these and this really really cool list from fibonacci blizzard should make cardbacks uh for subs of popular streamers sure i would love that Give me a card back, Blizzard. You just don't have to be a big beard. I would love any kind of... I would just love us to be able to, like, create even, like, a themed bundle in the store or something. Like, the Regis bundle where you get a certain set of cards. Bronzebeard-related cards. <laughs> that you could buy the cards themselves. I think that would be so sick. So sick. What shampoo do you use? I think I use the super cheap, um... Like, suave for men or something? <laughs> I mean, it's just whatever the most cheap, plain, just ridiculously bad shampoo is. That's that's where I live. Uh, all right, we're going to play this. Screw this guy. Uh, I don't think I attack first, right? Because I don't care as much about having a pirate as I care about killing that 2-3. So let's just kill this weapon and call it a day. Astounding! I love cold old sticky finger, dude. Just yoink it. It's so good. Streamer game boards? That might be a little too much work. I don't know. That, that's something they'd have to, like, create, you know. A bundle they could just, like, click the cards and be like, here, this is your bundle, you know. They wouldn't have to make content for it. I will say, though, man, Runeterra's game boards, like, whew, they're so cool. I wish Arsene had that, man. I wish I could choose my half of the game board. That would be so sick. I think with a Battle Rage in hand, that uh, Risky Skipper Armorsmith is not necessarily a bad idea. I mean, drawing four cards is going to put me back to ten but I'll only have five in hand. No, I'll put him back to nine. That's fine. Sets up the trades. Uh, it doesn't clear the fairy dragons, the only issue. Unless I find something to play off of the uh, battle rage for one mana, which is only another risky skipper, which wouldn't really be ideal. I could shield slam this and trade into the fairy dragon, I guess, if I want to sacrifice my four three. Oh, no, I can't because it's only... The three damage shield slam. Never mind. Scratch that. I guess we're leaving up the fairy dragon. It's not the end of the world, right? It's it's fine. If I if I you know it's like I trade and I get to four armor, but then it's dead anyway. So it's like well, what's the point? So just save the shield slam. I think we can do better. Congrats on the gifted sub. Also, I see you said thanks for the warm welcome. So I wanted to support you by subscribing. I wish I had money. Oh, don't worry about that. Just watch and and you gotta get the sub anyway. So you're good to go. Uh, just got four rares in one of my season packs, one golden. Oh, nice, dude. Golden's awesome. Love golden cards. All right. Let's see. How do we want to get through this turn, right? We left up a risky skipper. Warmall challenger. What did he misplay? Like, what did he do here? I'm not sure what exactly he thinks is a misplay or if I missed it or if I made a misplay or who knows what's going on. I was reading chat too much. I think I'll just warm all challenger. This goes down to um, nine, and then it attacks this four times, putting it down to one health remaining, which might seem bad, but it's really not the end of the world or anything. And then that goes to two, so I can live wire lance it, and I think I'm happy. This deck doesn't rely on your warm all challengers to be um, as threatening of a force, right? There's no rampages or anything here where you're really looking to follow up 
on your early Wormall Challengers. They are more of a control tool and Battle Rage and Armor Smith Activator than anything else, so I think we're fine to play it that way. Okay, that was a lot of damage, bro. Let's see if anything we draw changes our, our decisions at all. Welcome, boys. Make some room by the heart, won't you? So right. is the single player this week or next also how is you, Regis? <laughs> I wish I knew, man. I wish if I knew I could tell you, and I wish I knew. Um, Let's go for... Really need a brawl or a plague of wrath. I mean, plague of wrath bladestorm might be nice as a guaranteed clear of some kind. Can't attack because my hand is too full. Forgot to attack face though, or the minion, whatever I think is higher priority, but may not matter if we're gonna plague of wrath anyway. Uh, Azura the peacock with two months, man. Thanks to the resub. Uh, wish I could answer your question. Yeah, leaving that on board kind of sucks, doesn't it? It's no fun. I can't like put this to three first or anything, right? So that I, any other way to make this math feel better so that I don't have to use the plague. Deathling's not bad either. It leaves up the three, four, but I keep the dude. I feel like we can use Deathwing better later as a proactive or not even proactive, but basically we can use Deathwing as a threat later. Whereas right now leaving that three, four up to trade into it wouldn't really produce Deathwing as much of a threat, right? Now, we've made it through Bran and DQA, but that wasn't even the natural DQA, right? He has another DQA. <laughs> so, this guy's draw, by the way. Oh, my God. He had a perfect curve opener first off, right? And then, on top of that, he's made all these insane minion plays, too. I think this is just Deathwing. It always lives. It's cool. We get to armor up. I mean, it's fine. It's sort of perfect. But he does have three more dragons, so I'm saving a brawl here a little bit. Maybe Bladesword somehow relevant. Back up to 17, which isn't really enough. I kind of need more. Also, I'm going to lose this in fatigue if I try to bleed him out forever. So I have to kind of flip the board at some stage and actually start winning the game. Galakron can enable me to do that right. Galakron can present a lot of damage. Counter pressure, basically, to end the game. Siamat is uh, fine for the Bladestorm clear, honestly. Sort of perfect. It's guaranteed to... Guaranteed to clear for only three mana, which is ideal. I think that means we can go ahead and play the Kronks as well, right? Just to get some counter pressure and draw the Galakrons. Okay. Uh, I don't really have any minions I'd love to draw here. I guess Armorsmith is the best, but... Uh, it's going to be important for us soon to start. Well, not maybe soon, but eventually I'm going to need to create enough counter pressure to go face. I got to win the game at some stage. So that's our next big goal. Uh, this does enable me to get off a good shield slam. I mean, how many threats do I have to consider for my opponent at this stage? Uh, still three random dragons in hand from, from Alex Raza. Like, what are these dragons this guy's not committing to, right? <laughs> I just can't imagine what he's holding on to here. So let's go ahead and do this. I, am I think we're fine to shield slam that. Save the brawls for whatever these dragons are. Ooh, that's the minion I wanted. Nice. That's really, really good. I can absorb so many risky skipper hits now and give me a million life. Cargath does help me in fatigue a little, but still, you know, <laughs> like, what, nine cards behind. So I have to flip the board. What? Is that even really... Like, are you that excited about that? I don't know. It's a little better than the Hunter Hero power, I guess. If, if you're attacking face, assuming we don't have taunts. I, I guess you're excited about that, yeah. Why not? That seems exciting enough. Evil Quartermaster's pretty sweet, because now I can go off for a Risky Skipper. Oh, it only deals three damage, though, right now. Um, we could get a cool lackey, though, instead, maybe, that that uh, changes that, so, or we could finish it off with Kargath either way. I think we'll be okay. I'll show you who's boss. See what lackey we get. Um, Ethereal. Yeah, Ethereal could give me like a cleave even or something to clean these up really tidily. Um, Awaken is actually pretty sweet. Yeah, Awaken's really good actually. We kill our dude, but we gain more life. We gain a bunch of attack. 
What did I just... Oh my god, my mouse click just dropped. I didn't... Oh my god, that was scary. I almost missed attack. There was something to attack, so I guess I couldn't have possibly missed an attack, but still. Um, attack first? No, I'm glad we didn't attack first. We had another lackey generator anyway, right? We wanted to play the minion to, to activate the risky super regardless, so... Oh, that's gonna be nasty later. It's actually kind of nasty right now. <laughs> I'm already sort of annoyed by that. Ugh. I, I just don't know if I can win this race, right? He's dealing the same amount of damage as we are, but I have way less cards to work with. Thank Theradon into Brawl. But it's probably still okay. I save one Brawl for the uh, for the Zixor follow-up. It could actually be a game winner. Just the 12-12 attacking could be nuts. I don't know what. This might be like Death Wings and stuff. We don't know. He's still holding on to so much Dragon action that I'm not really sure. Am I willing to put the Draconic Lackey in? Yes, it increases the likelihood that a, that a Mac Theradon doesn't win, and I have the mana anyway, so let's do that. Let's see what Dragon we get. I need something very strong. DQA strong. We have two cards in deck still somehow, but that won't last for long, right? That won't last for long. Do we actually want to commit the Brawl here, though? Such a big minion. We can get it up next turn, regardless with the hero power. He already played Faceless Corruptor, so... Um, Next turn we should, even if a 1-3 lives, which it doesn't, which is nice. Cool. Now, what is the secret, though? Because I didn't get to test a Freezing Trap. If Mike Theradon gets Freezing Trapped, we're very sad, but we can maybe run Cadgar or a uh, Kargath enemy instead. Maybe just run Kargath in and call it a day, and we're happy. Why is this Hunter Galakrond? He got a Murazond off of Dragon Queen Alexstrasza and played it the turn I played my Galakrond, which I'm still... I think he could have got a better Murazond there, really. I don't know that one extra damage on your hero power is worth giving up, you know, like, what could he have gotten instead, you know? Maybe some giant board, like, I'm going to play a Dragon Queen soon. Watch me draw Corsair Cash, by the way. <laughs> okay, good. We actually get the Dragon Queen. Now, he did not... Um, play a minion, so I can't test Kargath Freezing Trap right now. I think that means I just chill on the Magtheridon. I don't think Hunter has any sort of board clear here that, that adequately resolves this 12-12. Uh, Zixor would probably be his best case. He already played Varanus, so that's not it. Oh, Zephyrus does, actually. Shoot. I gotta hold for Zephyrus. I gotta hold for Zephyrus. And then I need him to play a minion so I can Kargath the Freezing Trap. Let's see if he like commits a Deathwing or something here too. I think that's a possibility as well. Just gets the Zixor Prime. Okay, but at least this is trading in, right? Do I ever just do I ever want a freezing trap make there on just to play it again? I don't think so, but it, it's an interesting consideration at least. It's an interesting consideration. Uh, Coach Wolfskin, thanks for the Twitch Prime, man. He's just faking. He might be, but we can't afford to take that risk, right? We have to respect it. We lose the game if it's not going to stick, right? And it's not like we're in a huge hurry or anything. I mean, we're in a little bit of a hurry because of fatigue, but basically as soon as we can do this, um, we're able to make a, a pretty sick play. I think I'm just going to replay this guy, actually. Put that in the deck as soon as possible. Get the 12-12 going face. I can even play Malagos as well, which could be a lot of damage potential. And it's at least a little bit more board presence. Um, this is really debatable, right? Like, I do really like Malagos' Nova. Because I could just, like, play an 8-8 and freeze anything he does with his big dragons or whatever. Uh, Malagos' Tome is a little bit intriguing, but there's some bad, there's some bad mage spells, right? Some bad mage spells. I think we have enough to win the game, so I'm going to go for Tome. If we didn't have enough to win the game, I wouldn't go Tome, but we do. We can win the game like this. I have a lot of damage on my hero power, right? And I can just lock him down and hit him really hard soon. Like, whatever he does, basically, I'll be equipped to handle. So that's probably an explosive trap. What is that? Corrosive breath. Okay. Amber Watcher. All right. Wow, that changes my math a little. I'm surprised he held that that long. I guess he was at full life, so he went into. But I would have considered, um, I guess I would have considered valuing that 4-6 body a little more. And a Scale Rider face! Oh my god, is he setting up for like... I don't know what he's setting up for, but this is pretty sick. It might be a Deathwing setup, which... If I use this, I don't actually answer the Deathwing next turn. No, I picked the one I wanted. I maybe said the wrong thing, but... Like I said, I wanted Nova to freeze down board so I could just go face. Uh, let's figure this out first. It's almost always explosive, I think. Oh, it's not. Okay, well... 
Just gonna do this. It's basically he has to Deathwing or lose. Uh, if he does play Deathwing, I don't actually kill it next turn is the problem without a brawl. That's the issue, and I don't quite set up lethal yet either. I would only have five damage next turn. Hargath can't kill it, right? It's not Deathwing. Okay, that's good news. Tracking into Zephyrus, but Zephyrus doesn't have enough mana anymore. He can't even Frost Nova. So that's not it. What is this dragon? What is this? It might still be Deathwing. Maybe he's just digging for an answer, I guess, actually. Yeah, that may be it. Maybe it is Deathwing and he's still... It's zero mana. I forgot it's zero mana. He may just be digging for something instead. But but he has to pick a card and then discard the card with Deathwing, which can't feel very good. Um, oh, it's just Alex. Oh, but that's not enough. Sweet. Frost Nova wins. That's not enough. Suicide by Mag Theradon. I love it. Okay. Cool game, dude. Cool game, dude. Fun stuff. Uh, Risky Skipper could be pretty valuable against Spell Druid stuff in the mid game to help me clear some Glowfly Swarm boards. So I'm going to keep a Risky Skipper. All right, Ankars can't complain about that. Although we are running out of pirates, I did keep the important ones in hand. I think it's only Cobalt Sticky Finger, right? Yeah. Only one additional pirate of this list. So we need to get that going sooner. It's going to completely whiff. Uh, Sticky Finger, not exactly useful against Druid, but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll have a 4 4 in hand. That's something, at least. That's something. I like that. Oh yeah, funny. We did talk about your we talked about your Murazont in particular concerning that maybe the hero power wasn't enough out of your out of your um Murazont. Like you maybe could have gotten more of a big tempo board or something, but just curious about that decision was all not inherently wrong obviously or anything. Just curious. May not have had anything else to do. There's a million explanations, but that was one thing we talked about. All right, let's, uh, let's try to move through as much of our deck as possible here to make sure we have answers to the right stuff at the right time. Uh, normally, if you're playing a deck like this, you might want to consider hero powering to maximize your armor every every turn, but this one's going to be more about uh, having answers to these crazy boards this guy queues up, which means we need to draw, 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 not just armor, 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 because eventually they'll kill us anyway. Wanted to have more fun. Hey, that's a good explanation as anything, yeah. That's as good as anything. I don't see the point of Gallicron in the deck. Uh, the goal of Gallicron in the deck, you, you could ask Fibonacci, the creator, the greatest warrior player in the universe, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be you need a way to close out games late um, just because otherwise you run out of literal minions on board. Like You literally just don't have anything to do. Um, so just creating a little bit of counter pressure against your opponent can go a long way towards setting up those killing moments. Otherwise, you know, if a, a demon hunter is eventually going to get there against you, maybe, or a, like we saw last game, a Highlander hunter is eventually going to get there against you. They, because you're drawing faster, so you're not actually advantaged in fatigue at all because you're running all these battle rages that potentially draw you five, six cards, right? So armor isn't going to win you the game. You have to actually decisively end the game at some point. All right, uh, this sucks. I don't have anything good to do here. Is the risky almost always used in connection with armor smith? Uh, not always, but if you can do that, it's it's pretty ideal. Sometimes you can get a million armor, but you know, if, if he plays Glowfly Swarm right now and I don't have an armor smith, you better believe I'm still gonna risky skipper, right? I'm still gonna try my best to kill it. So, uh, you know, always is a tough word in Hearthstone, but usually I think yes, and often, and hopefully those words all apply, I think. Oh, what did you discard? I missed it. Uh, oh, Mouse Cellar gone. Okay, that's one major threat board resolved. That's pretty nice. Love to see that. Um, yeah, Shield Slam here, I think... Interesting. I mean, I would be way more hesitant to do it if I hadn't just seen the Mount Teller ripped and I hadn't just drawn the Brawl. But with those two things satisfied, it's like, oh yeah, okay. 
I can actually afford to rip this. I'm going to go ahead and, and go here because I don't think the weapon has a lot of value against, um, like, Druid in general. Brawls and stuff are going to get a spy. I'd rather just have whatever lackey and option available to decide plays for the future. Low fly swarm. Okay, so skipper, lackey. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Um, okay, I guess it's Brawl instead. He's got a little too big for the skippers, right? I mean, technically, I think we could do it. Um, or at least everything except the Glowfly. But I think Brawl is just too easy. Uh, this does leave me a little more exposed to... Let's see what we find here, actually. Because Bladestorm... Well, I guess Bladestorm's not any good anymore because of that dude. But Okay, I actually like this a lot. Hopefully the 5-7 doesn't win because I'd love to go face to find another Lackey. Also, it's just the worst minion, right? It's just annoying. If I win, like, forget it. Oh, almost, but that's fine. Totally fine. Not gonna attack the minion, because hopefully it dies incidentally in the future, right? Um, I just want to find a lackey without taking extra damage. Okay. Mechanic lackey's not really my favorite. I actually need to take a little bit of face damage, believe it or not. I need this battle rage to get better. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Give me the battle rage, bro. Hey, Battle Moose, thanks, man. That's really nice, dude. Yeah, I work hard on the, uh, work really hard on the intros. Like, too hard sometimes, but it's fun for me, at least. Somebody the other day said I needed to give my editor a raise. I was like, oh, that's, that's just me, man. How <laughs> do I give myself a raise? Let's do that. I want to figure out how to do that. That sounds great. <laughs> give myself a raise. Yeah, I mean, this isn't, this isn't my favorite play ever, because... It just feels bad, but it's okay. I'm, I'm probably gonna, um... I challenge you to probably gonna battle rage this, even though it... No, actually, you know what? We'll force their cash instead. That's fine, because we might accidentally draw the weapon. Um, this gets it in play. All right, I, I don't technically have a great answer to a big board. I don't have the brawl, but, I mean... Risky Skipper plus Titanic Lackey is a great recipe to clear a big board. So hopefully we can get enough through. Plus I have some Lackeys as well now I can generate, which is nice. I think we'll be okay in most cases. I, I may not be able to readily kill the Mount Teller, but I think with Goblin Lackey, copies, Risky Skippers, I, I think we'll get it. I think we'll be fine. I clicked to watch movie videos and for some reason it played a football video when I tell you I sat there and watched it for a whole minute thinking it was an intro. Well, here's the future heads up. I, I try to very specifically always have a Hearthstone card visible from frame one so that people know that it's a Hearthstone video. Cause I think I did one a long time ago where I didn't have a Hearthstone card showing. It was like just some other scene um, at the beginning and it had a way worse like watch time. Like people clicked off the video cause I didn't think it was a Hearthstone video. So I always ha try to have like a hero portrait, something Hearthstone themed, of course, from frame one so that you know that. So that you know that. Skip the intros because they spoil the highlight of the video. I don't think you know the intros we're talking about, Ravnex. I don't want to be that way, but almost all of my intros are pop culture videos. They're not even relate related to gameplay. Uh, I do do some gameplay intros, but they're never the highlight of the video. They set up the highlight sometimes. like. I showed myself playing Yogg in the latest one, but I don't show you what Yogg does. Uh, I showed the opponent playing Benedictus, but I don't show you what cards they got when they play the cards, right? I very specifically keep them spoiler free. Um, and usually they're just pop culture references. They're not even gameplay. But I gotta make a play, we're out of time. Oh my God, we're out of time. We're out of time. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please, please, anything, anything. Ah! Oh, I think it's an armor. Oh god, still though. Excellently navigated turn. Excellently, minus the armor. Excellently navigated turn. It was on my suggested videos bar when I was watching a random scroll video. Oh my god, you were watching the Mark Rover scroll video. Everybody's watched that video. <laughs> we all know that video. That's a great video. Deathwing. 
Um, Deathwing clears most of this stuff, but it leaves behind a ginormous board is the problem, right? I actually really need to Risky Skipper instead, but Risky Skipper, if I don't get Titanic Lackey, is screwed. If I don't get that, it's screwed. Speed Hearthstone? Yeah. Speed Hearthstone. It's not a Titanic Lackey. Surely I'll draw a playable minion here, right? Or multiple playable minions, at least, I should say. <gasps> Blade Storm! Blade Storm's not actually that good, though. It, it only deals with the front half of all these. And then I can't play the Restless Mummy. I think Mummy just does more, right? Like, it just blatantly does more. Mummy clears off way more minions. I might still be dead, though, because I'm leaving up a lot. Oh, my God! Oh, I might still be dead. He has four. That's eight. Um, Savage Roars are 10 each. That's 28. I'm only at 21. So a single Savage Roar uh, would not be enough. That's only 18, 19 with hero power. He's used both Power of the Wild, so it'd have to be double Savage Roar, which he is through most of his decks. That wouldn't be shocking at all. Double Savage Roar is actually kind of likely even one might say yeah blade storm unfortunately did less than a minion right it did less than a minion it only dealt one damage so we would have left up a bunch of tutus um rising winds means he doesn't yet have the savage orb but he's probably digging for it and it's one out of four right there to hit it if he didn't have it which is scary oh he's not doesn't look like he's going face here oh maybe doesn't have it he doesn't have it. Is he really leaving this up? Interesting. Uh, I'm at two health. <laughs> what do I do here, chat? What do I do here? I mean, oh, wait, what is that? Oh, crystal power. Okay. Time waits for no one. So Magtheridon Bladesworm clears the board. I can armor up, but I only go to four. Oh, not, not, not crystal power. Okay. Oh, it doesn't clear the board. Never mind. It only, there's two twos on board. Scratch that. Um, Deathwing clears the board. Armor Smith. I'm actually dead to Savage Roar if I do that. I think I'm just going to normally armor because Savage Roar doesn't kill me. Uh, we'll set up for later here. I think this is okay. Gonna go ahead and attack in case there's somehow a taunt and the lackey being available matters and I'm not able to attack the taunt for some reason, right? Uh, that could make a big difference. Uh, if the Deathwing attacks the Armor Smith first, it only gains me one armor. And then I'm dead to... Or actually, I don't know if that's true. Because does, does the effect resolve, I wonder, in the middle, since it's a battle cry? It actually may not be true. Either way, this saves the armor smith for higher value later, which is still pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and Galakron here since we can clear the board. This is like a safe turn to Galakrond. The, 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 here's the deal, right? If I don't Galakron, what else am I doing this turn? Almost nothing. Let's hit this first and see what we see. This feels good. I'm gonna go ahead and Galakron. I know it's really risky to lose that armor, but we have armor smith, and this just gives me way better plays to make, right? Like, not only do I get the big minion, but I can make Galakron to clear the stream board, which might make all the difference. Now, they may be too big for that, in which case we could try to use Mac Theridon, um, which is awesome, because I, if I can trade in this 1-1, one, one, that should always work. Uh, that's sort of a middling board, isn't it? Ugh, I needed all of the dragons to come at once, which was like almost guaranteed. <laughs> I think maybe maybe each one was a 50-50. I think he had a... No, no, not 50-50. It's -50. seven dragon cards. I think maybe one non-dragon card, right? Kronk Stomp's a little too risky. Savage Roar and stuff. He can push through everything. This goes to six. His hero power goes to two, and he hits me for 12, right? Um, this is okay. The question is, do I play the uh, armor split? It gains only three armor. I don't think that's really worth, right? I still think I can do better. I am gonna Battle Rage. Hero power doesn't seem to matter. Battle Rage could matter a lot, even for one, just like giving me an extra option next turn. Ooh, that with uh with Blade Storm's pretty good, maybe. Okay. Those are too big for Kronks, which sucks. That also gets to attack, which sucks. 
Oh my god, he's gonna be able to kill my Magtheridon? Are you serious? Ugh. Actually, those all being a three is okay, because I can deal three damage to the board, and then Kronks can clear, right? That's actually not too bad. There's one card left. Is it a Ysera portal or not? Is it a non oh, Is he drawing it now? No. So here's Bladestorm Gallic or Kronks. So that's good news. Four and two. Yeah, I think there is one left. Yeah, I hope it's not anything too big that I can't kill, right? But Deathwing right now would be in trouble. Oh, that's easy. Okay, that's small. Thank God. All right, so, I, I mean, we should literally be able to detect his hand, right? It's w maybe Savage Roar, Overflow, maybe Innervate, maybe Wild Growth. I don't know how many Wild Growths he's running, right? I don't know. So, most of those cards are useless. Starfall is actually not useless. That's pretty good. But here I can just go Draconid and um, Armorsmith behind it, and we should be squared away. Should be totally fine. Or maybe Kargath if we hit that with Armorsmiths or something. Shield block's also just fine. This basically puts me out of range, and uh, now I have a big taunt up too that can't be targeted. So how does he get through that? Savage Roar clears the taunt, but obviously doesn't do any damage behind it, so it should be stabilized. Oh, Zixor. Oh my god, guys. He had a Zixor I didn't know about. Yeah, I didn't realize that was a thing that we killed. Oh. Okay, well, that's not good. <laughs> Brawl. Brawl is handy. Let's, um, let's toss in the lackey here and, uh, should be fine on this Brawl, I hope. Plenty of life anyway, frankly. Uh, Deathwing would certainly clear this out if it was um, going to fail. Should be fine. Okay. That definitely does it. Even if he wins, it's no big deal. Uh, we won. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, you guys did not warn me soon enough about the Zixor. <laughs> I, see, I see a warning, but it was way too late. They forgot we killed a Zixor in there.